hello everyone let's solve this problem very quickly by the way you're welcome to feel cool mathematics where we solve problems into detail here we have k over 2 square root of k over 2 and then square root of 2 over k which is equal to 4 now this is how i want to deal with this <clears throat> so we have k over 2 right that is um k over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 okay remember any number to the power of half is the square root of that now this is going to multiply okay let me just put this this is going to multiply 2 over k but this 2 over k is under 2 square root signs right so that means i'm having 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 because of the two square root signs there and the whole of this is over is equal to 4. now if we take a step forward we are going to have k over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 over k to the power of 1 over 4 that is 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 and this will be equal to 4. now what do i have to do in this case remember we have in k over 2 and here we have 2 over k so i want to work on this middle term here so that k over 2 to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by k over 2 to the power of negative 1 over 2 okay it's actually 1 over 4 is equal to 4. Now, what I did here is to invert this. You know, we were having 2 over k, now k over 2, but the power will turn to negative. The power will turn to negative instead of the positive. Now, we have the same base, k over 2, k over 2. If we pick k over 2, then I will have to add the powers, right? So it's going to be 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4. Remember, it's supposed to be plus, but positive, negative will still give us negative. And everything is equal to 4. Now, what do I do in this case? I'm going to add the power. Okay, let me bring down the power here. Okay, the power is 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4. I want to deal with the power first. Now, the LCM of this power is 4. 4 divided by 2 is um, 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1. We have 2 minus 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1 is 1. And the power is 1 over 4. Now, I'm going to fix the power back in there. So, I have k over 2 to the power of 1 over 4 equal to 4. Now, the next thing I will do is to remove this power from here, 1 over 4. And to remove that, I'll multiply the power there by 4. And then the other side, you raise it to the power of 4. Now, 4 will cancel 4. And then k over 2 is equal to 4 to the power of 4. Okay, so this means k over 2 is equal to 4 to the power of 4 is not 16 because somebody will say it is 4 times 4 no 4 to the power of 4 is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 and that will give us 256 256 and then this is over 1 isn't it so we can simply cross multiply so we have k to be equal to 2 times 256 and it is 512. So this is the value of k that will satisfy the given equation. But the question is, will this truly satisfy the given equation? Let's check. We have the equation as k over 2 square root of 2 over k and it is equal to 4. Now let us substitute. If we are going to substitute this, we have k over 2, right? 
and that will now be square root of k which is 512 over 2 then we have square root again of 2 over 512 because k still remains 512 now let's work this this is going to be 512 divided by 2 is 256 okay and then in here i have square root of 2 over 512 if we reduce this to a lower term then we will have um, 1 over 256 now will this give us 4 at the end of the day let's go now take a step further so that we can find the inner square root 256 okay multiply by here now we're going to find square root of 1 which is 1 and square root of 256 and it is 16. now if you take a step further this will be equal to square root of 256 times 1 is 256 divided by okay so we're having 16 under it now let's continue we are going to have square root of 256 divided by 16 will give us 16 and now let's find the square root of 16 and it is equal to 4 okay so what did we have on the right hand side we're having um four right so this means that we are very correct to say that k is equal to 512 thank you very much for watching